speaking of some of the accomplishments, uh, which the ones, which ones in your career are the ones you want to be most remembered for? Well, uh, really, there there are two standout accomplishments that people outside of the Mint really lights them up to hear about. One is that we took profits at the United States Mint, and yes, the U.S. Mint is a profit-making enterprise for the federal government. We took profits from about $700 million a year to $2.6 billion over the course of five years. That's an obviously an extraordinary achievement, especially with uh, government employees who you can't incentivize with you know, stock options or like that. Uh, the other thing that really sort of lights people up is that I was the person who drove the adoption and really kind of created the concept of a 50-state quarters program, which extended over 11 years. That program, it was surprisingly difficult to get Treasury Department behind it. There was opposition at the very highest levels. and But I was able to work on a bipartisan basis with the chairman of the Republican chairman of the committee in the House, uh, Michael Castle from Delaware, and we were able to get the legislation passed to do that program. And of course, it brought millions upon millions of young people into the hobby over the co course of those years. What was your inspiration? Well, the the insp the idea of a so-called circulating commemorative and uh, 50 state quarters program had been floating around the hobby for maybe a couple decades and it was floated up to me as an idea early on when I was director and I just said no <laughs> and the reason I said no was because I knew the United States meant did not have the capabilities to do such an ambitious program. But we made so much progress over the next three years that I then picked up the ball and ran with it uh, because I thought it was, it was a stretch, but it was something that we could accomplish. And what about your plat the platinum coin that you created? Well, that was really the first entrepreneurial effort we made at the United States Mint. Once we had sort of laid down the foundation in you know, the back office operation and the financing and everything, then um, I was looking for a program that would allow us to prove what our capabilities were as an entrepreneurial culture. And the Platinum Eagle was the vehicle we had uh, and that we created to prove that. It was the first Platinum coin. Uh, we started with a blank slate. Uh, there were two major platinum markets in the world. One was the United States and the other was Japan. And my objective was to take over both of those markets. Well, the United States was fairly straightforward. But Japan uh, was a mature market and, um, and there was an incumbent mint who was in that market that we would have to displace. And, um, and so we convinced Michael Castle again that uh, we could do this, and legislation was passed. We produced the coin within six months of being authorized by Congress, extraordinary fast time. And then within six to nine months after that, we had taken 65% of the Japanese market. So that allowed us to prove what our capabilities were, and that laid the foundation then for the 50 state quarters program. Well, Philip, it's been uh, an honor having you join us in the studio today, and I want to congratulate you again on the great honor that you received as being one of the greatest Mint directors of all time. And if you would just like to find more information about Philip N. Deal, about coins, gold, silver, and platinum, please subscribe and like this channel. Thank you.